I am about to show you a quick video demo presentation of the remote staff chat system. All you have to do is to go to www.remotestaff.com.au forward slash portal forward slash and then log in as a client. Use your email address and the password that you have allocated. Upon logging in, you will notice that there is a prompt that would tell you that you are being logged in to the RS chat pages as well. Click on OK. You will be automatically brought and logged into this page right here. You can move it around, minimize or maximize it depending on your need, and start chatting to your staff members. Now, the list of your staff members could be viewed here under the, co under the contractor staff tab. You can start sending messages by clicking here and typing in your message. After you key in your message, your staff should be able to respond, and that's when you could start using the voice chat function. These buttons here would be enabled right after you receive the message. She responded, and you could see that the voice chat has been enabled. You could click that to start calling her, but I'm canceling this one, or I'm ending it just right now. Now, if you want to send a file to your staff, all you have to do is to click send file, select the file that you want to send, and she should be able to receive it. Now, to view the history of conversations that you have had before, all you have to do is to click on the conversation tab right here. You can also minimize and maximize this page by clicking on this button right here and close it by clicking here. If you want to see the history of the conversation that you have had all throughout the month, click on the View tab, click on Chat Messages, and then expand the month through the, through the days and through the staff members that you, you want to chat. You could close that one. Now, if you need support from any of our departments, all you have to do is to click on Remote Staff Support tab right here, and then click on this tab and should be able to send messages to these different departments by clicking here and keying in your message and pressing the send button. This message will be sent to different people from this department and they should be able to respond to you. Lastly, you're able to edit your profile by clicking on the profile tab, change your photo by clicking on the change picture button, you could change your first name, last name, and so on as well as needed, and click on update. This page will update. Sign out here, and the status could be seen here as well with whether you're online and offline. So that's how you use the remote staff chat system. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via this page, via our trunk line, or via emailing us at admin at remotestaff.com.au.